mean it. Man, he, <laughs> man, Pat hates you guys. I know Pat real well. He can't stand you guys. Oh, my God. Oh, man. Hey, Jeremiah, you want to close with a song? Yeah, why not? Uh-oh. -uh. Dude, uh, I think it's time for some shout-outs. Shout-out to my boy Chad, the 925. Shout out to my boy Chad Jr. and the two on three. I want to give a quick shout out to my boy Chad Sr. in the 818. Dude, shout out to my boy Chad in the three on eight. You know what? If your name's Chad and you're here tonight, shout, shout out to you. you. This song is called The Stoners On. I just want to get hella high. I just want to get hella high. I just want to get hella high with you, with you, with you. I just want to get hella high. I just want to get hella high. I just want to get hella high with you, with you, with you. I just want to get hella high. I just want to get hella high. I just wanna get hella high with you, with you, with you. I just wanna get hella high. I just wanna get hella high. I just wanna get hella high with you, with you, with you. Wake up in the morning, get hella high. <laughs> Some breakfast. Gotta get hella high. Go to court. Gotta get hella high. Jury duty. Gotta get hella high. <laughs> Go back home and get hella high. Take a nap and get hella high. Wake up from the nap and get hella high. Eat a snack. Okay, so I got some Pringles, some Gardettos, and if you want, some munchies. Dude, I don't freaking care. I just want to get hella high. I just want to get hella high. I just want to get hella high with you, with you, with you. Stop, solo. I just want to get hella high with you. Thank you very much, guys. Let's get some energy up in here. Yeah. It's time for the greatest mock dog against the world. Kill yeah, Tony. Yeah. for a brand new episode of Kill Tony Volume 3. Give it up for Tony Hensclare. It's me, everybody. Hello. Hi. We're live. How are you? Welcome, everyone, to the number one podcast in the world. Live podcast. The number one live. That part's very important. The number one live podcast in the world. Keep it going for Reagan and Watkins, ladies and gentlemen. You, sit, you heard them. You saw them. You love them. The great Ryan, Brian Redband is here, everybody. What's up, guys? On the sounds, the ones and twos. Ryan J. Ebelt drawing tonight's episode. Yo, you stop clapping oh, for Ryan fuck? J. Ebelt. We hate artists. Is that what happens? You hate artists? <laughs> Jamie Vernon on the HD camera. Oh, shit. And I want to do something special here tonight. You're a special audience. You get to see the first thing for the very first time. You like being a special audience, huh? Yeah. You like being a special audience. Who wants to be a special audience? Who wants to be? You get to see Kill Tony. How many episodes have we done? Over 150. Yeah. This is 147. Okay. Uh, <laughs> 
Okay, no, very uh, very humbling. Audience, one one day, day, Thank you very much, guys, for repeating that. Uh, <laughs> to the the late statisticians, Reagan yes. and Watkins. For podcast purposes. <laughs> um, we have our first ever merch, ladies and gentlemen. Our first ever merch, and it is the new, the first ever Kill Tony the movie poster, oh. ladies and gentlemen. Brian, can you pull that bottom part down for me? Yeah. Brian, chicken hands, can you pull the bottom of that down? Look at that. Yeah. That's me, the two regulars, Vanessa Johnson, Melissa Esslinger. That's Pat Reagan oh, with a yeah. look on his face like he just said a bad joke. <laughs> and Josh Martin. And Jeremiah, Brian, Brian, Jeremiah Brian. Watkins is behind Pat. <laughs> These are limited edition, the first ever Kill Tony posters. $30, everybody. $30. 30 fucking dollars. Get it together. Drawn by Ryan J. Ebelt here. Put your fucking hands together. Oh. Ryan J. Ebelt.com. You call yourself a Kill Tony fan. If you don't have a poster, you're a punk ass bitch. Yeah. Buy a $30 poster, you motherfucker. These episodes are as free as it gets. Buy it. Buy it. Buy it. Buy it. There you go. Do it. Okay. I think you guys got your point across. <laughs> Buy the fucking poster. Uh, so, welcome to the show, everybody. Another fun, exciting Monday. I'm happy to be back in L.A. We've been doing the road a lot. Have a lot of crazy shit coming up. Cap City in Austin. Zany's in Chicago. Uh, we are doing Kill Tony at the Wild West Comedy Festival in oh, yeah, Nashville, right. Tennessee. In Tennessee. Uh, that's uh, sometime in May. Who cares? It's a part of a festival, so they get to promote it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I went to South by Southwest last night. That shit's crazy. That's fun, right? You did some shows with George Perez. Yep, and uh, a bunch of the people from the uh, Guys We Fucked podcast and Ryan Dune. It ran into Doug Benson, of course, smoking weed in the middle of the streets. Very nice. right. That sounds about right. So uh, I'm excited to be back. Let's do this again. You guys ready for Kill Tony or what? Yeah, Sorry, show's canceled, everybody. I, we're gonna go get a different audience. We're gonna sub them in. Are you guys ready for Kill Tony yeah. Live right now? Every single week, I have two of the funniest comedians in the world on as guests, and this week is no different. In fact, this is what we would call a superior show. Put your hands together for two of the best comedians in the world, two of the funniest human beings I know, and truly two of my favorite comedians. Put your hands together for the great. Mike Lawrence and Jamar Neighbors. Here they are, live in the flesh. Mike Lawrence back for the second week in a row before he heads back to New York. And the great Jamar Neighbors. Hi. Yeah, fresh off the release of his amazing comedy mixtape, America's Nigga. <laughs> And you can find that at verbalviolence.tv exclusively there and on DatPiff. Uh, yeah. And at Worldstar, probably. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Mike, welcome back. That's a, that's a wonderfully uncomfortable title. <laughs> yeah. I feel like Gwyneth Paltrow was the only white person who would say the full name of that album. <laughs> So, they also named Paula Deen's cookbook. <laughs> that's true. That's, uh, that's jo Josh, what, what episode of, uh, of uh, Kill Tony are we on? 137. 137. <laughs> he, the way that he answered that, it was like you just dropped a bunch of toothpicks in front of him. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have both done the show before. You're two of my favorite guests, two of my favorite people to riff and play with. We are going to have so much fun. Uh, Reagan, Watkins, Red Band, E-Belt, Vernon, Martin. And we are ready to go. Laverne. Sherry. Sure. Sure. Starsky. Bill. Touch. Touch. Um. Bye, everyone. And that's tonight's show. Thank you for coming out. That's why we are the number one live podcast in the world. Some of the best entertainment. We throw all our heat right at the front and then we end the show. I don't know, Tony. I think this audience needs to catch up. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, you know it's an audience of mostly comics when you talked about your show being at a festival and no one clapped because they're not clapped on it? Yeah. A bunch of sad fucks. These people can't even get in a fucking regular festival. That's a comedy festival. They can't even go to a carnival. Yeah. Y'all can't even go to the park. 
<laughs> Over, and then you have a poster for Jamar's comedy park. <laughs> Over 50 human beings. Over 50 rising. Some of them uh, at the decline of their career. Some of them at the very start of it. Over 50 human beings signed up for the chance to do 60 seconds on this stage and then talk to us afterwards. Absolutely anything can happen because the bucket is in full control. Comedians, you know your 60 seconds is up when you hear the sound of a kitty. Oh, it's there tonight, okay. That actually surprised me more than anything ever has. It's a loud kitty tonight, I like that. It's a bobcat. Yeah, that means uh, wrap up, wrap it up then. If you go over your time, you get in big trouble because you're going to bring out the angry West Hollywood bear. Oh, I see what happened there. They flipped tonight. He's a little quiet there. All right, well, you guys get the point. Uh, you ready to start this shit or what? Here we go. This is it. You're about to see 60 seconds. Could be a new comedian, could be an old comedian, could be somebody's first time. It could be you. Your friend may have signed you up for the show tonight. You just don't know it. Performing 60 seconds live right now. Put your hands together for Naveed Sultan. <laughs> Get down to it. Uh, I haven't seen any good movies lately, uh, but I am excited for that uh, movie Suicide Squad. It's where all the comic book villains get together and they make a super team. I only know that because I had to look it up. Because when I first saw the name of the movie, I was like, oh shit, they're making a movie about Al Qaeda? Because that's the real Suicide Squad. And it kind of makes me pissed off at Hollywood because I'm like, how the fuck do you guys have the nerve to make a movie called Suicide Squad? and not put one brown guy on the team. Like, he should be like the most important dude. Um, but Hollywood call me up, I'll do it. I'll be, I'll be terrorist number three. Uh, thank you guys so much, I appreciate it. Wow, out of 45 seconds, Naveed Sultan. I love that a joke about suicide slowly died on its own. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. I, was just, <laughs> I wouldn't either. I was just watching this bad bitch walk up in here. <laughs> what was that? Yeah, get up here, Shawty. Eh? Yeah, damn. Did you, <laughs> did you play Kimmy Gibbler in the full house porn? <laughs> 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 full spouse. I do things. Fuck yeah, we bet you do. All right, yeah. <laughs> Naveed Sultan. What's up, Tony? How you oh, doing? I shit. love it. I love that. Uh, clearly, you right sitting next to Joe just feels like the world's sweetest make a wish. <laughs> <laughs> Is this just a remake of Weird Science? Like what the fuck? Uh, Naveed Sultan. What's up, Tony? Uh, okay, stop calling me Tony, Naveed. Uh, <laughs> Tone. <laughs> Stop having the hair of a band member from Soundgarden. <laughs> Clearly you do have a look more fitting for a magician than a comedian. Uh, I was going to say Uber driver, but... Well, then funny. you would have been less funny than what I said. <laughs> Thank you, Jeremiah. He's the, sol he's the, he's the sultan of a swing and a miss. <laughs> Oh, Naveed, what's your story? You been on the show before? Yeah, I came on here one time in December, prior. That's cool. Um, told, uh, I told a joke about to catch predator. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> so That's at least you talked about Naveed. something relevant now. That's good. <laughs> Naveed, what do you do for work? Uh, I actually uh, well, today was my first uh, day of work. I got laid off like a month ago, and I just got a new job. But it's just phone sales, so it's nothing special. Phone sales. What are you selling? Uh, this Who buys phones nowadays? <laughs> I, 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 I had a feeling somebody was going to do it. I didn't think it would be you. What, but, okay. what if he was hired to promote the movie Suicide Squad yeah. and that's why he did that set? <laughs> First ever phone promotion. Uh, that's the real Suicide Squad in theaters August 8th. <laughs> How long have you been on stand-up, Naveed? Uh, on and off about six years. Wow, mostly off, I'm hoping. Uh, yeah, it seems like it, yeah. Are you from L.A.? No, I'm from Dallas. 
Mm. Yeah. Interesting. A lot of sultans in Dallas? <laughs> no, actually, it's pretty uncommon, but uh, yeah. What is your uh, What do your parents do for work? Uh, my mom was a teacher and my dad was a deli manager. A lot of wuzzes there. They're retired? Yeah. Okay. They're you. both dead. This is all <laughs> Suicide Squad. <laughs> Peters, March 14th. <laughs> no, I think August 8th is the actual date. I should know this shit. Come on, I suppose. Yeah. Look, a guy does a comic book joke in front of me. <laughs> hey, Navid, you ever been naked in the pale moonlight? Yeah. <laughs> Joker. Oh. You know, I see what you're doing there with the whole uh, with the whole Suicide Squad joke. My advice, if you want to keep doing it, which I don't know if that would be my advice, uh, but if you want to make it better, I would lose a bunch of fucking words and shit. Okay. The Suicide Squad movie turns out it's not the Al Qaeda movie. Ba 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 ba. They should have the. You really have to fucking do a lot of surgery because everything that you were saying was telegraphed. Because when I first heard Suicide, it's like a you know. And and it's the, the joke has an expiration date, so why spend so much time on a joke that you know you can't use like. August 30th, you know? It's gone. Yeah. Especially it. the quality of jokes that you're writing. It's definitely not going to end up being timeless. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, people aren't going to be like, my God, did you hear Naveed Sultan's fucking Suicide yeah. Squad joke? Yeah. Hey. What's up? Hey. Man? How you doing? But you following your dreams, though. <laughs> yeah. 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 You are chasing them, and they, they are way out ahead of you. Uh, but keep chasing them. Wait, is this going to be the show? Are we just going to banter for 10 minutes and then Morgan Freeman just said, <laughs> uh, You either start trying or keep bombing. <laughs> Naveed, we're, gonna, we're through with you. That was yeah, Naveed okay, Sultan, cool. everybody. Right. There he goes. Naveed yeah. Sultan. He's on Twitter. Lance Kelsey. There he goes. I love that saxophone, yeah, Jeremiah. Yeah. You are. <laughs> I love that. Who is that? Pat, how are you? How's it going, Pat? You okay? I'm good. Yeah, yeah. Is yeah. it weird sitting close to a pretty lady, Pat? No. Is everybody okay? <laughs> yeah, you shut up. By the way <laughs> you said no, it actually seems like it was. Like you actually were super nervous. <laughs> that girl seems to be Jamar's crypto white. <laughs> she like that. She she looks like a possum I really want to fuck. A possum? <laughs> well, do you like the idea of someone playing dead the entire time you're having sex with them? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I pulled another name out of the bucket. Looks like a new name, I do believe. Let's see. It's Julian... Julian Fernandez. Julian Fernandez. What's <laughs> up? I'm not very good at hitting on women, very bad at it. Uh, I'm trying something new, trying to change up my voice, try to sound a little tougher, a little more manly, like Liam Neeson from Taken. He's the definition of a man's man, so I feel like if I walked up just confident, just, I don't know who you are. I don't know what you're looking for in a man. You can walk away right now, that'd be the end of it. Or, you can give me your number, and I will call you. I will find you. Why are you running away? Come back! <laughs> so I'm thinking again, one other thing I should try is maybe try to sound more sophisticated, more interesting, like Morgan Freeman. A national treasure level kind of voice, so soothing and relaxing. Just walk up. My word. You are the most gorgeous woman I've ever seen. Truly the gods took their time, carving the marble stone to greet this angel I see before me. Oh, how the heavens and a Bitch, why are you asleep? Wake up. <laughs> Thank you very much, guys. My name is Julian Fernandez. Oh, yeah. Julian Fernandez. Kill Tony. <laughs> you guys are the best. Oh, man. That is so awesome that uh, I, I love your style, Thank uh, you. Julian. Um, you're an interesting looking guy. Uh, has anyone ever told you that you look like a swollen Frank Caliendo? Uh, <laughs> swollen? Sw like, swollen face? Like, it looks like you're having an allergic reaction right now. Did you get stuck by a bee or something? No, it's just my face. I love that. Uh, okay. Okay, just, how it is. just making sure. You're a funny guy. I'm good. I'm fine, yeah. Where are you uh, from? Uh, Walnut. Uh, SoCal. So, uh, Walnut. West Covina area. Oh. Yeah, nobody knows where it is. Oh. <laughs> I don't know where it is. Uh, is it next to Peanut? <laughs> 
<laughs> that is the stupidest thing you could possibly say. No, this audience needs to catch up. That's right, you're a while. I've been saying that. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, man. Julian, what's your story? How long have you been on stand-up? Uh, five years. All out in Walnut? Uh, no, uh, I try my best to come out here as much as I possibly can. That's a little tough just because it's about an hour drive. It's a tough nut to crack. Yeah. <laughs> Julian, what do you do for work? Uh, I work at a marijuana dispensary. Whoa. And your new Kill Tony regular, Julian Fernandez. Uh, catch him here every week. I love that. Uh, how long have you been doing that for? I just started. Ah. Before that, I worked at a security for a strip club. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> So you're just living out every wish of a 15 year old. Boy. <laughs> yeah. 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 I, I my my thought, I thought it was a little hacky. I would be honest. The impressions are good, but the way that you did them was too easy. I would, I mean, they're like you look at like James Adomian, who I yeah. think is like the best impression comic around right now, and he has full bits where he's saying stuff. But with you, it was like you were just forcing the impression in. And, and another thing, I just don't like when people go. You know, like Liam Neeson from Taken. We know Liam Neeson. Yeah. You know, I'm Jewish. He saved a lot of my people many years ago. Uh, but it's like when you spoon feed it like that, when people be like, you know, like Gollum from Lord of the Rings. I'm like, oh, no, I thought it was from Tyler Perry's Medea's Family Reunion. That Gollum. Um, I think trust the audience more. And you clearly have presence. You clearly have talent. I think you can be using it much better than the easy way out you're taking right. now. My well, with sixty, uh, it, se with 60 seconds, I want to show show off. It, with sixty seconds, it's all the more reason to lose the extra yeah. stuff and okay. trust the audience. Show that you can write, also, because there yeah. wasn't much writing in that. You were just mostly quoting movies in mm -hmm. a very forced context. Okay. Yeah, well, you did the Liam Nielsen impression. <laughs> <laughs> Liam Nielsen from the Naked Gun movie. <laughs> from, from the Taken Gun movies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 that, like, uh, when, when you did the, uh, that impression, I was like, oh shit, another guy doing that impression, but then you did the best one I ever heard, so I don't know where I sit with it, <laughs> yeah. you know, like, do you stop doing it, or do they stop doing it, so I tell other niggas, like, hey, it's a nigga with a fire-ass Liam Neeson impression, <laughs> All y'all four niggas should stop doing that shit. <laughs> yeah. Guess what the secret word of the day is, guys. Uh, <laughs> Neeson. <laughs> oh, the, the old, the old oh. school telephone. <laughs> Shocker. He's uh, right. What? You know, I think uh, you guys are right about that. Because, like, you know, the Liam Neeson doing the I will find you and I will kill you joke is kind of like doing a Schwarzenegger I'll be back yeah. joke. It's like our generation's version of that. When the so. guitar comic is telling you not to take the easy way out. <laughs> it's actually a songwriter. Artist. Artist and songwriter. That you Morgan don't Fre talk to Pat Reagan like that! <laughs> that, Mor that Morgan Freeman impression uh, sounded like the Black Power Ranger. <laughs> you, ever hear, you ever hear him talk? No, all right. You mean Walter Jones the third? <laughs> yeah. That's the actor. I'm like, I just want to, I just want to make that reference. Hey, do you know the guy that plays the Black Power Ranger, Mike? That's my best friend. I know of him. Yeah. Really? <laughs> he plays the Black Power Ranger from the show Power Rangers. <laughs> hey, Jamar. Yeah. Doesn't uh, Morgan Freeman have a lot of moles? Yeah, they got a gang of them. <laughs> and how would he discuss those moles? He'd be like, uh, he, I think he'd make it, I think he'd make like his grandchildren count them. Like, like <laughs> that's how he teaches them to count. <laughs> All right, uh, start with the nipple. <laughs> um, <laughs> they're, they're not moles, they're dreams that have come true. <laughs> well, that nigga look like a cookie. <laughs> Yeah, he should play Famous Amos. Fuck Morgan Freeman. 
Julian, so I'm still a little confused. There's something about your eyes that's throwing me off. You're, like, you're getting lost you, in his are, eyes. Are you half Asian? No, I'm full Mexican. Yeah. Full Mexican. I just have small eyes. You look suspicious. Uh, I know. <laughs> He works at a marijuana dispensary. Of course, yeah. he has small. What, what, what's another impression that you can do? That's awesome. Another impression. I do Obama. What? <laughs> and can you do any anybody black? I'm like what? <laughs> you can do Kiki Palmer. What? Uh oh, the mic side of the mic stand. Look out, people. Can you do Christopher Walken? Just oh. stop it, Brian. <laughs> yeah. What does your Barack sound like? Uh, very um. Oh <laughs> shit. <laughs> I'm sorry, go ahead. <laughs> Very, uh, I, I hope, uh, on the point, uh, accurate, uh, and pleasurable to the ear. Uh, that nigga what do stutter. <laughs> <laughs> what if, like, during the day he's pushing for Obama to get a third term so he can keep doing the show? Exactly. <laughs> All right, Julian. Um, what do you think? Who are you? Uh, who are you going to vote for in this election? Bernie. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Bernie. What if he was like Trump? I hate all my family. <laughs> <laughs> I got this one on. I want to get the fuck rid of. Well, Julian, it was nice to meet you, Julian Fernandez. Thank first time on Show Tony. There you go. He's on Twitter, JJF Comedy. So. If you're keeping score, uh, Mexicans won, Middle Easterner zero. For those of you with your race bingo card. <laughs> this looks like another new name. Uh, put your hands together for Christian Piper. <laughs> I'm married, I've been married for three years. So far, so good. I like her. Uh, she does have a little bit of the autism. Just a little, just a scotch of the tizzy. Uh, it's what used to be called Asperger's syndrome, but now it's called an autism spectrum disorder. It's not that rare, no big deal. Except she was diagnosed six months after we got married. So my first thought is, how did I not know that my wife had autism? Seems like that's a social cue I should have picked up on. People get worried when I talk about it, they get nervous. It's no big deal, she loves these jokes. She's not easily offended because of the Asperger's. And really, if you're getting tested for that as an adult, you better hope you have it. <laughs> All right, that's it. That's it. Boom, exactly a minute. Unbelievable. Christian, I feel like I know you. Yeah, I opened for you in Salt Lake City oh, about cool. six months ago. Yeah, yeah, great stuff, man. Thank you. So I've always wanted to be entertained by my spirit animal. <laughs> <laughs> You look like one of the guys that would fight Hulk Hogan, like not on the pay-per-view, but like on TV. Right, on Saturday morning, just, just get beat up in like three minutes. I, I'm people just imagining just... Jimmy Hart standing behind you the entire time saying the punchlines in a megaphone. I think people would just be impressed that he could lift them. Yeah. Do, you, do you really date somebody that had, like, is this all He's true? Married? Yeah, that's my wife. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I mean, I, I've been uh, attracted to Aspies for like the last five years, and, and like... It's actually a thing. Like I, I, every girl I meet has Asperger's. I don't even know until after I break up. No, no I'm really Ryan, talking about Brian. Ryan, so it's, uh, uh, you, you have the Asperger's. Yeah. Well, 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 if it's everyone, it's you. Albany, 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 Albany. The cutest bitch I ever seen in my life was in a wheelchair in my high school. So <laughs> I believe y'all, man. I also <laughs> imagine that in a Morgan Freeman voice. Ah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I only got the art part, man. <laughs> How intense is the, like, is, is the Asperger's? Like, if you guys can have fight, can you just jiggle your car keys or something? Brian <laughs> 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 Red Family. Those are the ones that you're attracted to. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I think it's no, no, he didn't. Oh, shit, you guys are having a We Date Terrible People off right now. It's <laughs> amazing. I wonder who's going to win. It's, it's actually super mild. Uh, she has more of the physical symptoms where... She's super light sensitive and sound sensitive. And drools. And stuff. Yeah, yeah. So like, what does that affect? What's different about, what does she have to change? Uh, well, like, 
She has to have the lighting exactly right in every room. She wears earmuffs when she uses the blender because it's too loud. Wow. Kind of <laughs> and you didn't notice I'm this sorry. before you made <laughs> He has to accept that she has. How often does he she has to use... accept that she has Asperger's, and she has to accept that he looks like a Guess Who character. Exactly. <laughs> Boom! Oh, man. So good. <laughs> For you podcast listeners, you have got to look up what this guy looks like. It'll be, worth the, it'll be fucking, worth the Google. How much harder, like, ugly people have to try to be funny and <laughs> succeed? As a fat beardo myself, man, you're one of my fucking people, man. Yeah, yeah one That's of us, buddy. You. Thank you. We will both be complaining while we go to see Batman vs. Superman <laughs> alone together. <laughs> is, is that weird? Do you ever get to go to movies with her and, like, she's just she there hits, with she, earmuffs and a blindfold yeah, on? She doesn't do movies, so I go by myself. We spend a lot of time separate. What if it turns out she just said that so she doesn't have to support your comedy career? <laughs> yeah, you know, she used the earmuffs, uh, you know, with the blender and uh, the comedy so store. Can, so she can't see, like, 3D movies? No, she doesn't go to any movies. <laughs> what, what, what's that even like? Her eyes are fucked up? Is that what you mean? Like, no, I'm just, I'm just picturing a person with autism just yeah. <laughs> with some 3D glasses freaking the fuck out. <laughs> it's funny to me. <laughs> <laughs> I actually, uh, By the way, that's a great Bernie Sanders supporter costume. Oh, thank you. Thanks. <laughs> hey, if you in love, if you in love, man, fuck it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> how, long, how long have you been doing it, man? That was really fucking great and oh, original, and like it built, and oh. it was one subject. And killer, killer. Yeah, the yeah. punches kept building up. It was great. Five years. That's wow. awesome. Man. All at uh, all in Salt Lake City. Yeah, I moved here a month ago. Oh, dude, great, great move. Welcome, great move. welcome. Man. That's awesome. Really great. Have you already accepted that you'll only ever be able to write for other people? <laughs> yeah, I'm starting to kind of realize that. Yeah. You're gonna be that fun guy. In the writers, right there, yeah. you know. I'll take it. Yeah. <laughs> Have you written a script and stuff? I would honestly say, like, that's where you're gonna fucking be. This is a pretentious, shitty, image-based city. But fucking, uh, just keep writing, and people will want to work with you. All right. Yeah. We'll do. Yeah. There you work go. Together. <laughs> Christian, am I saying your? How do you say that last? Yeah, that's Piper. Piper. Mm -hmm. Fuck yeah, just like Rowdy Roddy. That's right. Another oh. friend of Kill Tony, well, right. two-time guest. Awesome. Anyway, uh, Christian, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, welcome to Los Angeles. Great work. Thank you. Thank you, John. You'll see us again soon. That's Christian Piper at Piper Comedy on Twitter. P-I-E-P-E-R. Literally has the word pie in his name and on his shirt. One of the few comedians to... All right. I like it. Okay. Oh, this will be interesting. This sounds like this is a human being that isn't here. Uh, put your hands together for Eric HRTV24. How you guys doing? I'm from New York City, and I'm gonna give you this song really quick. So if you could clap with me, let's do it. Wait till I get, till I get my taxes back. I will know how to act when I get my income tax. I can't wait till I get, till I get my taxes back. I will know how to act when I get my income tax. Just a few months ago, I asked her for a loan So that I could turn on my phone But she turned around and told me no Then a few weeks after that, I asked if I could hold Some money to buy a coat But she left me in the cold Wait till I get, till I get my taxes back I will know how to act when I get my income tax Thank you guys, I appreciate that Oh, there you go, Eric I'm trying not to run over my time Eric HRC, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm trying not to run over my time I'm black and we're trying to keep it together Wait till I get my taxes back Wait till I get my taxes back I don't know how to act when I get my taxes back. Yeah, fuck yeah. Three people singing about taxes that don't have real jobs. Yeah. <laughs> you guys know you don't get a tax return. All right. Yeah, I who do gets get my money taxes back? back. Eric, yeah. you're, it says here your last name is HRTV24. Uh, are you a robot? 
No, you're the second person to say that. No, it's from my channel. <laughs> Thank you. That first person must have been fucking hilarious. I guess. Why not? You can't even do like a weird black people names joke about that name. Yeah. It's just fucking Shout odd. out to Breaking Stereotypes. I am Eric HR TV24. Yeah. <laughs> I have been programmed to do moderately at Kill Tony. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I have, to, I have to shorten it down. It's okay. It's okay. You had to shorten it down. That thing goes for longer than that? No, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Wait, wait. Oh, wait. But I play, I, it's a full it's show. nine minutes long and it just tells you how no, to no, do no, your taxes. <laughs> You do for now. I'm trying to get a deal with TurboTax. Yes, TurboTax. Turbo that's what I said. I know that, that, that song's probably like a jingle you would see like during a commercial while you're watching Maury Povich, you know? Yeah. Like, like after the Everest College ad, like that comes on. Like, what do you think? <laughs> Tony, he looks like the weekend's broke cousin, the oh, work week. <laughs> Training little baby roasters over here. I love that when you see the nice guy turn sometimes after a few weeks of being with us evil thoughts. Yeah. Hey, uh, Tony. Uh, someone be hateful with a Tony, I'm, I can take people's souls from them as well. <laughs> nice guy Jeremiah pulling a fucking good cop, bad cop flip on us. I want to say that I'm from the Bronx, New York. And they want they want to say that no, you're not. Oh no no no! Trust me, no no. Trust me, I am. Everybody in the Bronx, I just heard them from here. They're like, fuck that motherfucker. All my life. All my life. And I want to say, but this room is more cutthroat than New York, but I like it. This we, feels like New York. We so know, it's, thank it's you. Thing. He just uh, goes around the Bronx teaching them how to do taxes with his songs. I used to be an office manager, so it is what it is. I am Eric you know HR TV24. I will help you do your taxes. Formerly Eric EZ140. <laughs> it's a tax joke, motherfuckers. Only, only in the month of March do I do this. You know, I'm wearing running pants sometimes. because I took a premise and ran it to the ground. <laughs> you really rep New York a lot. Like you have the, sh no, no, no. You have the shirt was, on. No, 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 no. Wait, I knew that that was going to come up. I, I didn't have any laundry. This was the only thing that was clean because I hadn't worn it since I've been out here. And yeah, I got work to do when I go back home. <laughs> Yeah. That might be my favorite party horn ever. <laughs> Yo, man, you know I ain't what? got no laundry. Uh, I haven't been, you know, keeping up on the things that I have to do in my life to, uh, you know, sustain. It just been hard. Thank you. It is a hard place. Party Wait on. till I get a new change of clothes. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta add that verse to it, man. I like that. We, we you know what I like? You know what I kind of admire about it is that you didn't put that shit on an Instagram video like we're supposed to be like at. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you record that shit and put that shit on Instagram, nigga, you get like some 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 reposts. Sounds good. Right? I know I know King I know King Batch and all. That's good. My, that's that's what HRTV24 is. HRTV24 is my Instagram. So yeah, nigga, that's too many numbers. Fuck that. Yeah. <laughs> Instagram, man, you program that shit right into there, huh? It is what it is. Yeah. So. Now that we know you're wearing dirty laundry. It's uh, not dirty, I said it was clean. Yeah, but we don't really believe you. <laughs> Snow me, if you like. I, I'm good on that, Eric. Uh, I promise you. I, I still, that wretched smell of that song is still in this room. It is what it is. Do you have a lot of songs? Yeah, I'm working on the comedy. Can you album. give us a couple titles of some other ones? Um, she thinks she's all that because them food stamps. Ratchet and Ghetto. Hey. Wait till I get my taxes back. Oh, I think I've heard of this. <laughs> Oh, it's wait till I get my taxes back part two. Yeah. He filled out the forms incorrectly, and it's like he still Kelly. hasn't gotten his return. Yeah. It's an R. Kelly thing. Is any of this on the internet? I'm working on it, so it's, it's my new. Uh, it's my new album. Chip off the HR block. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Jennifer Lopez. I like that. <laughs> What's that to do with Jennifer Lopez? From the block. From the block. J Lo. No, J. HR block is a tax process. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> That was good. You would know that you would know this if you actually did your taxes. Eric. That's what I get for visiting your wheelhouse. <laughs> so you're from the Bronx. How long yeah. are you visiting LA for? Um, I'm gonna be here like till April. Yeah, and I got here like last month. What do you do for work? 
I used to be an office manager. Now I'm just here visiting, and then I'm going to go back to work doing that. Are you staying at a place when you're here? Uh, yeah, I live on Hollywood Boulevard in Highland, and not at a hostel because somebody asked me that. No, I live in a, in a nice place. In a nice place that doesn't have laundry. Uh, no, actually, we have... I'm you like, be very careful with how you use your words next. Yeah, I want his next song. I didn't have time. Girl, you're so fuckable because I love your deductibles. <laughs> <laughs> I like how this guy thinks. I appreciate that. Oh, thanks, man. I'm yeah. from New York, too. Shout out to New York. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. I, guys, I don't know if you know if this. If we didn't talk about it, no one would know it existed, okay? It's yeah, true. Exactly. I'm, I'm pretty sure New York's doing okay without you guys giving a shout out. So. Pretty sure it's the most powerful city in the world, yeah, but... Yo, man, shout out to the Statue of Liberty. I see you out there. <laughs> if, I, if I wore a shirt of the place I was from, it would just say the words of broken marriage. <laughs> Give me a shout out to Rutgers. You, uh, you perform a lot, Eric? Um, I'm trying to. While I'm out here in LA, I'm trying to, you know, hit up What do you mean spots. by that? So is that no, or you're trying... What does that mean? I don't know. I feel like I could be doing more, but um, I don't know. I'm trying, yeah. I didn't bring my piano with me, so it's like it's oh, limited. Shit. I know it's a yeah, it's a problem for me. Shout out to the the Hollywood Improv. Yeah. Whoa. Okay. They have a piano. They have a piano. Oh. Have a piano. Oh. Oh. Like that. Uh, Shout out to New York. <laughs> I like that too. The yeah. book you just signed it. Uh. <laughs> I like them a little better. Comedy stone. <laughs> Are you really? Mad? You talk, you, you talk about now your comedy store, you talk about your belly room. Well, the improv says they love taxes. <laughs> well, I feel like I'm back home. What is that? Uh, Eric, uh, so do you ever go by your real never, last name or you just promote your Instagram? Yeah, that's that's my name. Yeah. You don't like your last name? Um, it's it's okay. What is it? It's just really, yeah, I'm not going to say it. Oh, oh my God. God. Yeah, everybody's going to say it. Like, if you go on my Instagram, or... you'll see it. Makes me believe that somebody didn't really file their taxes this year. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, stay low key. His real name is LaFar Burden. He hosted a wonderful show called Reading Rainbow for many years. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. That used to be my show. You got a great voice, too. Oh, man. thank you. I thought I did terribly, but thank you. No, no, no. You got the heat. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> great stuff. Great stuff. Great stuff, Eric. And I, and I loved you as I loved you as the new Stormtrooper in the new Star Wars movie. Too. I haven't watched the film, so... I bet. Don't film. get your joke. I haven't watched the film. What are we doing here? 35 millimeter. I haven't seen the cinema. Wait, wait, you actually don't get the joke, so you haven't seen the commercials, the posters, you haven't seen, been to a, any store in the last six months? I so. have, but I just, I never kept up with Star Wars, so. Fuck I don't know. Yeah. That's real. I'm, I'm from the hood. We got yeah. other things to our, Oh, I got booed. Is that the first one ever? Yo, that's nice. Thank you. I appreciate that. No, no, that's, that's <laughs> not. No, no, you don't, by the way. Uh, oh, what? What that's does nice. that have? That's well, not I really feel like I'm in New York, but shout out to New York. All right, what is I'm going with you, Eric. Nigga, they're... say New York again, nigga. Yeah. Say to New York and hey, suck your York. ass. Eric, uh, it was nice meeting you. Best of luck with everything. Write your songs. Get it going, you know. Punch them up. Sounds good. Thank have, you. Have, do your laundry, you know. I can't wait for the subprime mortgages mixtape. Uh... <laughs> yeah, it's a part of my mixtape. I forgot to mention that. Yeah. Thank you guys. I appreciate Speaking it. Big tapes. There he oh. goes, everybody. The, top the, the notorious IRS, everyone. Eric HRTV24. Believe it or not, he's yeah. on Twitter at HRTV24. <laughs> For those of you that love fucking half decent shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, we know this guy. This guy's a guy who's built a big reputation here uh, on Kill Tony. One of the highest ever slugging percentages in the history of the show. Notorious for it. Put your hands together for him. Back again. Matthew Maloney, everybody. <laughs> I picked up a new addiction recently, so that's been fun. <laughs> Unfortunately, it wasn't one of those sexy addictions like heroin or basket weaving. <laughs> I recently became addicted to pinball. You know those machines you see in the back of arcades that remind you that Jodie Foster used to be hot? <laughs> I recently became obsessed with one of those things. 
It was a pinball machine themed after the band Kiss, and it had a gigantic miniature of Gene Simmons' head that would eject pinballs from his throat. Now, we all know that Gene Simmons is able to breathe fire. We've seen it a million times. But Gene Simmons spitting out silver balls? Figured, heck, you're not gonna see that on Pornhub. <laughs> but it turns out, you can. You just have to have the premium membership. <laughs> Thank you. Fuck yeah, well, exactly one minute. Matthew Maloney, coming in. Coming in nice and smooth. I like that. Matthew, you look like a father and son use that face swap app. <laughs> A little baby and a hairy father uh, swapped faces. I agree. I agree. What, Pat? He's angry. Okie dokie. He's uh, angry. He's angry. He's angry. What? No one oh, man. You guys just lost, and there wasn't even a competition going on. He's from Harry Potter. He's from Harry Potter. Uh, I guess I just. Uh, Playing sound effects, douchebag. <laughs> <laughs> These characters have a little bit of an attitude, huh? And it sucks when you've used all your good fat bearded guy stuff. Uh, <laughs> another one, Jesus. Um, no, that was that was, that was good. I mean, it fizzled out. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> looks like one was left. Catch up, please. <laughs> We open the code and it turns out there's been three kids on top of each other the entire time. Oh. Oh. One for Deadpool, oh please. Oh my god. I fucking love you. Mike Lawrence. Mike fucking sick Lawrence. Visual. Holy shit. It's so fucking that funny. Fucking sick, dude. Sick. I could imagine that. <laughs> that is an interesting jacket. Like when you bought it, you have to know that you do look a little bit shady in it, right? I mean, you look like you murdered someone at a Pantera concert. <laughs> Aww. Look at that. Who's a little baby with a beard? Who put a beard on that baby? You are adorable, though. He provides the voice of the West Hollywood Bear. <laughs> Matthew, what's been happening, man? You've been on the circuit for a while. This is like your fifth, sixth, seventh time on the show, something like that. Yeah. Uh, what do you What do you do for work? Uber. Uber. Yeah. Wow. XL. <laughs> <laughs> like your shirt. <laughs> what uh, What kind of Uber? Um, Uber X. Yeah. What kind of car do you have? Prius. Ooh, fucking oh. tight squeeze, huh? <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> I've well, only really been doing comedy. About a year now. Yeah. Oh, that's that's great. Great. Oh, great. Nice. I just kept I just kept staring at his shoes the whole time. Oh, he's got uh, he's got those Josh Meyerowitz. He's <laughs> <laughs> got the autism shoes on, huh? <laughs> Do you just upgrade from Velcro straps? That's incredible. <laughs> I feel, I feel like Chris Piper is like the evolved Pokemon version of this guy. <laughs> what do you? What, what's been happening, Matthew? Anything crazy happening in your Uber lately? No, not in the Uber. I um, I. No, not Tell us way. something about your real life. What's been going on? Anything? How uncomfortable are girls when they get inside your car? <laughs> Enough to give me three stars. <laughs> oh, you have a low ranking right now? No, it's, it's okay. It's fine. What is it? My ranking's fine. What is it? It's fine. Why are you holding the mic stand like you're petting a rabbit? <laughs> <laughs> uh, wait, so you, you can tell us our ratings right now on Uber, our backwards ratings? If you call me, yeah. Mm, you better right. not cancel. Um, what, uh, <laughs> what is your rating? Uh, 4.73 at the moment. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> so, what do you think? It's also how many years he has left on the earth. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's true. We actually talked to a doctor before the show, and he, and he gave us that estimate. Uh, why, why, why do you think it got down to a 4.7? Do you remember anything that went wrong? You know, did you fart or you know, something? Put on bad music? 
you never know. Do you talk too much? Or are you one of those guys that won't shut up? Uh, no, I, I think it's actually the opposite problem. Really? Because uh, I, I don't talk at all, and and some people... People that don't talk at all and wear that jacket normally drive people to a, uh, somewhere with where you kill them. Somebody, somebody challenged me to masturbate in an Uber, so last night I masturbated in an Uber on an hour no. Uber drive. Did you challenge you to masturbate in the Uber, Brian? This is what it sounds like to me. I've known you long enough now to know that that's That feels like you just lived happened. up to whatever potential you always had. <laughs> Here lies Red Band. You know what he did in that Uber. <laughs> yeah, but it doesn't count if you didn't come. Did you come? Oh yeah, I did on Periscope. You can watch it right now. On, Peri Peri on Periscope? You, Periscope? you came on Periscope? Have you ever had one of those Uber drives that you were like, oh, I have to drive like two hours now, and then you have to drive back two hours? Uh, actually, the one time I did a two-hour ride, it was to a place I was already headed. Oh, wow. and so that was amazing. That's awesome. Yeah. How did that go down? You kidnapped her, tied her up, put her in the trunk. <laughs> yeah, that's how I picture your Uber. Just people in the back seat, like, is there somebody yelling in the trunk right now? Do you hear that thumping? What? No, music up. Okay. How how uh, how how long ago did you buy the shoes? <laughs> good question. That's a good question, Jamar. Like mid 2015. What? Yeah. They're sketches, man. They last. Shout out to Skechers. <laughs> we can tell they're definitely not shape ups. Because <laughs> Skechers, Skechers push ups, everybody. Remember those? The pop? Yeah, well, like, did you go in the store and was like, I want these? <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? No, man. Or did somebody buy them for you? My, uh, they're the kids buying a ball machine of Who? shoes. <laughs> My dad bought them for me. What? Mike really? really? bought these for me. Who? Oh, Mike bought them for me. Remember? Uh, that shit crazy. Previously on Didn't Work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, most people don't do callbacks to things that didn't work the first time. But I like this guy. This guy's ballsy. Wow. <laughs> Literally. I like him too. Yeah. What do you What do you want to do with comedy? Like, what What's your ultimate goal? Like, um, to. I go out and perform it and, and do it, you know, little by little, go up the ladder. That answer matched your shoes. Uh, it was really just, when you want to perform me, just get they're like, by. They're like a tire company made them. <laughs> Those are bad years. Bad year. That's what he's having. Um, well, Matthew, uh, fun times. Always a pleasure. Um, I love your style. He got, he got the same shoes Jason Voorhees be wearing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you don't feel like he's gonna catch up to them. Yeah. <laughs> Fat. Ah, that's funny shit. Sure. We like your style, Matthew. What, what is your favorite food, by the way? If you had to pick one, lasagna. So, <laughs> just off the top of my head, Tony. He's so adorable. Jesus. A lot of people using the Tony aggressively here tonight. Tony. Lasagna, Tony. Yeah, Tony. 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 Like supposed to, is that supposed yeah. to hurt me or something? <laughs> no. Because yeah. it is like 95% like, you know, we're making fun. We're just having fun. And it's like, oh, you seem with it. But there was like 5% like dread and menace that I genuinely feel. Where yes. like, you yeah. seem kind of upset. That's that just I know my I'm going to die just tonight. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. About that. I'm, we're just, I had a great time. We're just having fun. Call us. Call us the Ghostbusters, because we just roasted the Marshmallow Man. <laughs> you can call me the N-word. Hey, it's been rough. <laughs> it's been rough for him since Undertaker threw him Fuck. off that cage 15 years ago. <laughs> Matthew Maloney, you did it again. There he goes. Matthew E. Maloney on Twitter. He's the only Matthew E. Maloney on Twitter. You guys are really nailing that one song home tonight. I know. Uh, you really have that one down. That song yet. I feel like that. I feel like you guys are pulling an Eric HRTV24 on me right now. <laughs> Just, uh, How did you memorize that? What the fuck? Oh no, I didn't. I just looked down at the slips okay. of paper that are that I already pulled out. I had to specifically look because HRTV24 isn't that. Uh, it's not that catchy. All right, in this game of let's rotate rotate between uh, fat white people and black men, here we go again. Put your hands together for Rashid Stevens, everybody. Here we go. Hey, 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 no lie, he was at Marty's. Really? Yeah. Well, 
But Sheet Stevens, you just got blacklisted. <laughs> That's what happens when you miss your spot. <laughs> Lindsay Jennings, everybody. Here she comes. I smoke a lot of weed, so I have a really terrible short-term memory. I also smoke a lot of weed. Uh, people might say that I've used weed as a crutch to be lazy in life. I'd like to think I've used it as a wheelchair. It's much less work and way more efficient. Uh, I'm a firm believer that the way you feel is a direct correlation of what you put into your body. So I'm pretty sure that's why I always feel like a dick. Uh, I never want to feel like a vegetable, so I don't consume any of those. Um, a lot of people seem to think, because of how I look, that I have daddy issues. And I'm like, me and my dad have great sex. Um, obviously, I don't really fuck my dad, but it sure does end the conversation quick. <laughs> That's, uh, I thought that was a minute. <laughs> it's always funny when people panic at 57 seconds. <laughs> Instead of just closing out. There you go, Lindsay Channings, everybody. Great stuff. I think they hit the dad issues thing right from the top, you know what I mean? Anything that's really about uh, what you look like, you know, it's just great to crush right from the beginning, because that's what everybody's thinking. They're thinking, does this bitch really have green eyebrows right now? I mean, 100% of the people in the room. Is that for St. Patty's Day? <laughs> no, I just alternate, you know, day, no, by, day I by day. I, no, I don't know. <laughs> I, I can't even fathom that. Uh, do, but do I, you re like, if you're having a bad day, do you really change your eyebrows to make it look like you're having a bad day? Having <laughs> <laughs> a bad day? No, uh, no. no? I, would. I mean, if I'm having a bad day, usually I didn't do my eyebrows and I just look like a crackhead. Right. <laughs> you don't do your eyebrows, you look like a crackhead? I don't know, a little bit, like, you know. Remember I told you they're very scarce, like yours? <laughs> no, I don't You don't remember, remember that? that? Uh, no, I don't. Yeah, Do like blonde, you know? scarce eyebrows? Yes. A little bit, yeah. We all know that. Uh, we I, all I, didn't, I didn't know that was a thing. Uh, <laughs> all right. Well, she just called. Shit. Uh, but I did that daddy issue. Does anybody issue? have a green Sharpie marker I can buy? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, we should do your eyebrows right now. That'd You'll be awesome. really look like that's, the Joker that's then. Totally what I want to do. Um, I didn't. Do, I didn't start with the daddy issues joke because I did it here once before, and I had a bunch of other stuff added to it. So now I have like a different ending. So I wanted to save it for the end and oh. try to do it better, you know, because I was afraid it wasn't gonna hit again. <laughs> How long have you been doing it? Uh, <laughs> doing the joke. Oh, the joke. How long have you been sexually active? <laughs> what? How long have you been sexually active? Uh, I think thir <laughs> 13 years. 13 years. Um, but I've been doing comedy for nice. five months. <laughs> five months. <laughs> I thought it was like decent structure, you know, all Mr. Rex. Um, I think, you know, going further, like, the more real the stuff is, the better, you know? I thought, like, it was just the kind of, like, beginner, you know, <laughs> simple misdirect jokes. Well, I'm giving, am I not allowed to, isn't that what the show is? I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Jamar, Jamar, what are you thinking over here? I see the wheels turning. <laughs> but I would think, no, I would, I would just quickly say, like, you know, just get better, but, like, I want to see your voice more because... Like, when I see you, it's like, we clearly know who you are. Like, you are literally wearing your personality on your sleeves. But, like, I want to know more, like, in, in the jokes, because a lot of it didn't seem real. Um, it's funny that you said that, because I literally wrote these jokes yesterday trying to... Because I'm going to quit smoking weed for 21 days, because I haven't... I haven't not smoked weed for more than a week in over 12 years yeah. and I want to figure out who I am without weed and That's awesome. therefore I came up with weed jokes so oh, okay. <laughs> there's going to be a lot of green teardrops all around uh, <laughs> all around the Hollywood area <laughs> I'm uh, <laughs> shit what <laughs> I'm still trying to figure your body out. <laughs> Cause I'm like, is, is, is it nice? Is it not nice? I look good naked, man. Oh, you, can, you can Google it. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. Nice. Yes. Oh, 
right? It brings me to my next thing. Is it she? <laughs> yeah. yeah. No! <laughs> I ain't gonna even sit up here and act like I ain't never screenshotted some shit. <laughs> I'm screenshot king, nigga. <laughs> Damn. You're, ja you're Jamar's wallpaper. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time. Hey. Lindsay, how do you make your money? Ooh, yeah. What do you do for work? I also work at a weed shop. Oh. What the fuck? Nice. <laughs> 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 so it's gonna be hard to quit. Yeah. So you're gonna keep working there during 21 days of not smoking. Mm -hmm. Does anybody ever do that? Yeah, there's actually a lot of people who don't smoke weed in the weed industry, and they probably make a lot more money as well. Cause they don't get into the product. That's <laughs> <laughs> true, John. That's true. <laughs> um, you've been doing stand up for about five months. You're saying, right? Mm -hmm. Continuously. I see you here regularly. Is anything, anything? that you, uh, you know, anything that you would say to a comedian that's just starting now uh, about something that you've learned in your first five months? Um, no, because I don't feel like I have any solid advice on comedy for anyone yet. At all. Awesome. Uh, I don't know, I guess just to not like care as much because I feel like people made me feel like I wasn't, like, I don't know, just try to be yourself, I guess, and not like get tainted by like other people's opinions on you and just like, Follow your heart and follow your dreams and live your life. And that's, about as, that's about as shitty of an answer as you could have given me. I mean, really, just the worst possible answer. I really lock you up a beach ball day. You just uh, poked it. I told you I didn't have advice. You're so well, this loud. Is, when you come up, you know, people are going to look at the package and then it's like they're going to immediately want to decide. on that, that first joke for you is more important than the first joke for a lot of people because... This is such a specific, like, this is who I am look. So that first joke is the most important joke you're telling. Thank you <laughs> for that good advice. So you're covered in <laughs> tattoos. You have, what, a Venus fly trap? Look that's at from that. Mario Brothers. Oh. Yeah, kind of. We took, like, the um, shape of the Mario Brothers one and then changed the colors. And then oh, that's cool. Hands, right? do you, do you have, oh, that's Are cool. there more Mario things? Like, do you have, uh, do you have Mario, like... Uh, all right, for these <laughs> man peoples. I picture that green tunnel just coming out of her asshole or something. <laughs> <laughs> blip, 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 blip. Coming out. <laughs> Lindsay, are these <laughs> permanent <laughs> tattoos? <laughs> I get asked that like way more often than you would think, too. Hey. So n no, they're not. <laughs> Were you once a roadie for bowling for soup? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Lindsay. <laughs> When's the next Rob Zombie movie coming out? I don't know. Oh man. So Lindsay, anything else that uh, anything else that's happened recently, or anything you want to talk about, anything at all, stand up wise? Um, I don't know. I've been doing the roast battle, so that's been really fun. I really How's love that. that? Fun? She's really uh, good. Yeah. Thank you. People uh, make people make fun of like how. Oh, I feel like I'm like such an easy target that it's going to be like hard for me to win a lot. So I feel like as long as I just have a lot of good comebacks. Um, well, the easier the target, the easier it is to win. I don't know. People go for the most surface, simple shit, and yeah. then you can go for their actual personalities and rip them apart. Yeah. yeah. Or if you able, or if you battle a black guy, you can always just drop a M bomb on him. <laughs> <laughs> but only to plug his album. Yeah, yeah. only to plug. <laughs> it's America's nigga, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> on that pin. Lindsay Jennings, everybody. There she is. There she goes. Good job, man. Right? Off to some roller derby or something like that. <laughs> Gonna put some ladies into the wall. Lindsay Jennings is on Twitter and Instagram at Lindsay Jennings with a Z at the end. She's a really good rapper also. I don't know if she has her music out there, but you would never think that she's a, a rapper. You did really? Rose what, a condom rapper? What are we oh. talking about? Oh. Yeah, kind of rapper. oh! It's not even that mean. There's no, there's no way she uses condoms, guys. Relax. It doesn't even make sense. <laughs> Are you D? I don't even know what's going on over there, but <laughs> are you D? Yeah, he doesn't Never know. mind. Jeremiah, he doesn't know what that is. What does it mean? Dude, you're not hip in the birth control game. <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> uh, I pulled the name out of the bucket, and I believe it says Joel Day. <laughs> So 
I've never been up in front of an audience before. I'm in town on business. I told the wife I was going to try it this. And she looked at me dead in the face and said, that's great. Get up and tell a couple of your dad jokes. And I said, it's not really that sort of a crowd. They're not going to appreciate things like, I'm so pumped that Leo won his first Oscar. But I feel bad for Tom Cruise. He just always gets overlooked. Comes up a little short. She looks me dead in the face and goes, are they going to expect suicide jokes? And I said, I don't even know how dad suicide jokes would work. Because most people just get choked up over them. And if the crowd turns on you, you kind of just left there hanging. But the good news is... <laughs> the good news is the only people who can really be offended by suicide jokes, well, they're already gone. Because they're dead. Thanks. <laughs> All right, Joel Beck. This is your first time on stage? Ever? Ever. Really? <laughs> the elephant of virginity. <laughs> Joel Day. How old's your, uh, your kid? I have a seven-year-old and a two-year-old. Seven-year-old and a two-year-old. Did, did you really wear that shirt because you knew you were going to be talking about father shit and all that stuff? Is it like, are you like that kind of a dad? You're just I plan talk about all the Dad time. jokes and Star Wars. Everything he's saying is just making it harder to make fun of him. Like, it's my first time on stage. I have children. I go on missionary trips to help starving Africans. But no, go ahead. Critique my one minute of comedy. It's okay. <laughs> Well, uh, we just got word that your seven-year-old and your two-year-old listened to your performance, and they killed themselves. Uh, so you're going to have to lose those dad jokes, because... It didn't even feel like a set. It just each other in the face. The whole thing just felt like the inner monologue he was having as he was walking up here. I was wondering what I would say if I went up on stage for the first time. Yeah. I mean, you're, it's all timing. Like, a lot of your jokes, you just kind of ran through. You didn't give, like, the pauses where we were supposed to, like, oh, I see what he said there. You just kind of, like, kept on going. I think if you just do it a couple more times, you'll figure out the timing part. Yeah, what do you do for uh, work? I uh, work in aerospace. Whoa, what do you do? Uh, engineering. Oh, oh you go to sword. <laughs> <laughs> why, then, why would you want... Is there an emotional reason that... <laughs> You would want your first time to be recorded. Wouldn't, wouldn't you want to just fail quietly Maybe for a listen, while? Are you a fan of the show? Absolutely, yeah. Damn right you are. So did, you, did you just do comedy to do this, or is this something you eventually want to make money at? I strictly did this just to try it. That's, That's it. so okay. cool. Yeah. I love that. Cool. That is awesome. I love that. I admire what you guys do. That is so cool. It takes real balls for a guy that looks like a young Ted Cruz to come up here <laughs> and really give a speech about as funny as one of Ted Cruz's uh, for 60 seconds. It's like the head you see in the barber shop when they're asking you which styles to pick from. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take the number three, please. Fifties races, please. <laughs> So your kids killed themselves? I'm, 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 I'm kind of with Mike. I couldn't really say anything uh, bad about him because it's like his first time. It's like, um, you know how somebody come out and thank their mama on like Apollo before they sing the song so you can't really boo them because their mama did it? <laughs> like, that's the, like that's why I can't. It's for that same I don't reason. understand that analogy. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a little high. <laughs> <laughs> Joel Day. So you have a seven-year-old and a two-year-old. You work in aerospace, so you're making decent money, right? Got a pretty thick engagement, a pretty Whoa. thick marriage ring on your uh, finger there. Yeah, yeah. Pretty girthy. Pretty girthy. Jeremiah, stuff. what do you got? Jamar might be the blackest person I know because he's the only person I know who carries around a 40 of water. <laughs> Hey, hey, that joke was so dope, it's already my joke. <laughs> Damn. I need, I need to check out the albums. <laughs> yeah, I like that the comeback was, I'm just stealing that now. <laughs> no, 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 I already say that. Oh, I'm already okay. water. Do you water. Do you think you're gonna, do you think you're gonna do this again? Do you think you're gonna start, continue to try, I mean, did you like it? I'm from Portland, so the scene is... Awesome there. Portland's yeah, awesome. It. It gets a little All they do is encourage people's false dreams in Portland. <laughs> it's a city built on false encouragement. Yeah, it's literally probably like the fourth or fifth biggest uh, comedy market. No, and I mean, it's good when people come, but, you know, it, it, you get the crowd and it's the same rain jokes. Dad jokes, if you will. I don't know about that. A lot of, a lot of really good comedians from Portland. Did that just really happen? Did you just throw a chicken tender to that hot chick and she ate it? 
What the crazy world do we live in? All right. Jamar. Now the whole room smells you know, like chicken. Jamar you know. is running around. You can't see if you're listening to the podcast, but Jamar is now on all fours backing his ass up to the mic stand because of the I was, smell of I literally oh. want to see Jamar and Joel act out a Trump protest fight. <laughs> <laughs> Like, when you bought those shoes, like, how, how long ago did you buy those shoes? And did you walk into the store and was like, let me have those shoes? Hi, my name is Joel, and I would like to acquire those shoes, please. <laughs> These are Oregon shoes. You could just rationalize anything on being from Oregon, huh? Pretty much. Two plus two is five, baby. Just That's say, Oregon, Matt. We don't know shit. We're idiots. We just say keen on them. <laughs> I'm sorry. Anything exciting about your seven-year-old? Boy or girl? Boy. What's he turning out like? Uh, it's good. It's good. <laughs> Pretty straightforward. I was going to come up and tell the jokes about them, but the wife, she kiboshed that. She said, if you go up, nah. <laughs> <laughs> now. This is that you're active. Your wife is live streaming right now. I believe she's singing the kids to bed. Uh, and then she's going to uh, chloroform the entire family. This is one of those situations. Are they back in Portland right now? Yeah, Vancouver. We're across the river. Oh, wait, they, they wait a it, second. It, they it, they wait, wait, what's your in uh, Vancouver? Wait, so did you yeah. just shift allegiances to Canada? <laughs> Cheap taxes. You really live in Vancouver now? Uh, Van no, Washington. Vancouver, oh. just across the river. Oh, Vancouver, Washington. Oh. We're like struggling to, to riff on a completely reasonable man. <laughs> Damn, you really broke down the walls on that one, Pat. I'm not gonna lie, that is exactly what we're doing. He's like, he's like if the auto industry was a person, you know? Like, it's been rough for me the past few years, but now I'm just trying to get back up there. And, uh, <laughs> Well, there you go, Joel. Uh, thanks for uh, thanks for taking part in it. Oh, that's so cool. Thanks for being a fan of the show. Joel Day, I love that. It's one of the cool things, you know, that fans of the show get to come on and give it a try and realize uh, that the people that they thought they were going to be better than are so much better than them. <laughs> it's a real reality hits hard when you're like, "What did that, that guy fucking sucked? I could do this shit." And then next thing you know, your kids are growing up without a father. <laughs> He's on Twitter at Artichoke Jones. That's a fun Twitter name. Yeah, I nice. always wondered who got Artichoke Jones. <laughs> Turns out it was Joel Day. Uh, let's get to our two regulars, and then if we have time left, we're going to pull one more name out of the bucket. But let's get right to it. These are two comedians uh, we're going to bring up right now. They each do a brand new minute every single week. Their positions are locked in. We had two regulars for about a, over 100 episodes before. Now these two are being built every single week strategically in this room, comedian by comedian, guest by guest, every single week, something different, new material. Put your hands together for your first regular. You know her, because she's a Kill Tony regular. One of the newest comedians in the game, always nervous, always fun. It's the one and only Melissa Esslinger, everybody. Here she is. <laughs> Thanks. I've been coloring a lot lately. Um, I was at this, like, sanctuary park thing in the Palisades. I was sitting on a dock and I was coloring. And this lady and her uh, son walked up and she was like, oh, look, she's drawing. And then they got a little closer and she was like, oh, she's coloring. And I looked up and I was like, I like trains. <laughs> They left me alone, I got my piece back. But while I've been coloring, I've been watching Hulu a lot lately, so I've been coloring while I watch Hulu, and... Um, I started noticing that the commercials seem to be tailored for kids all of a sudden, since I bought my coloring book. Like, there was a milk commercial, and it's not even like for a specific brand. This is just a fact for you to know, that it's just a milk commercial. But there's also, I saw a Subway commercial, and they did change their slogan, finally. However, I think they missed the point because they went from eat fresh to fresh, it's what we do. <laughs> Melissa Essling. <laughs> Fuck yeah. 
I love all that stuff in the beginning about coloring and everything. It's great. You do seem like you would do that. I believe it the entire time. I think the train train joke is great. I think that all matches your personality and everything. That's Thanks. awesome. Great Thank stuff. Yeah. Thanks. That's fun. You're really coloring, huh? I can tell yeah. that it's real. You want to see my hands? No. Oh, I took a shower. Never mind. Oh. <laughs> That really throws everything off. Um, so, coloring. What, what kind of coloring books do you have? Um, they're like, you know, abstract designs and stuff. I don't even know what that means. They're, uh, they're stress coloring books for adults from Michaels. Oh. <laughs> so yet another thing that comes from Portland, Oregon. <laughs> wait, wait, that's really a thing? They yeah. Have, they have Did you adult. get yours from Trader Joe's? What? Did you get yours from Trader Joe's? No. No. Why, why? Uh, at Michael's. That's where I got mine. <laughs> they're called adult stress coloring books? Stress yeah. you do reading it? or something yeah, like I mean, that, yeah. You do or coloring like, books? Or like, they have a like, mindfulness book. Shit. All right. They have a, you know... Let's stick on the coloring book here for a second. Yeah. Uh, Jamar, you're into this whole thing? Yeah. It's nice. It's, it's really therapeutic, man. It is. What, 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 are there, like, people in the things that you color? It's like, it's like, well... I pulled my coloring book out at a bar once, and I got three other people coloring with me. <laughs> you pulled the picture. That's not where you thought that was going, but that's where it should be. <laughs> that's so weird. <clears throat> yeah, that's fun. Um... I'm pretty sure Lindsay Jennings will let you color on her. Uh, it's interesting that they have. She would color, color with me. <laughs> you really do. It's cool. Jamar really has colored. It's yeah. Hell yeah. And I thought it was just for girls that got molested that color. I, 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 I hope the niggas who got molested too. <laughs> to make the word molested not the most harsh part of a sentence. <laughs> That's real tough. I never would have guessed that someone as tough as you busts out crayons and gets yeah. into the... So when people call you... So when people call you the colored guy from now on... It's pretty much, it's pretty much totally... I knew it was coming and I let it happen. I just sat here while it happened. <laughs> Had to do it. There you go, Melissa Esslinger, our brand new Good minute job, of Melissa man. Esslinger. It's crazy, it's happening. Growth. That was a really good set of this. I'm so happy about that. Yeah. A few weeks in a row, she's been on a hot streak, but we can't say that out loud or else she'll be lazy next week. Yeah. Um, we are other regular, so fun. Again, these ladies, not only are they killing it regularly, but they're, it can also be found on the brand new Kill Tony poster. Put your hands together for your other regular, Vanessa Johnston. <laughs> Um, my, uh, my friend set me up on a blind date with an old, rich, white dude who has daughters the same age as me for tickets to a basketball game. And I was like, no, I'm not going to go. And she was like, please take one for the team. And I was like, listen, I will take them all from the team, <laughs> but not from a pedophile. <laughs> so I get to the restaurant. Because I convinced myself this is not a date, this is charity. And we're at Mastro's Takehouse and I'm a vegan. And we're sitting across from each other and he starts making like conversation. He was like, this restaurant's so great, right? I was like, yeah, the hostesses did great tits. And he was like, what? I'm like, yeah, I just want to touch them, you know what I mean? He was like, no, I have daughters. I was like, all right, see if I just touch theirs. <laughs> It's a minute, right? 57 seconds. Uh, <laughs> Vanessa Jones. Kill Tony! <laughs> oh, God, that's my favorite thing of all time. <laughs> so, did, Vanessa, yeah, Mike Lawrence. Um, no, I... Because I saw you last week, and it, it, both stories felt very similar to me, where it's like someone being mean to you, and then you get this comeback at them. I want to see a joke where you're the asshole. Like, th that needs That's to typically be... my style. But, but oh. it hasn't been. Like, yeah. It's just like these people are being dicks to you. I want to, I mean, and I know I've only seen two minutes, but like, I just feel like that's something that you want to be very mindful of. Yeah. That even when you're making fun of other people and you're attacking the old guy, 
make fun of yourself too. Right. Okay. The story sounds real. Is it real? Yeah, it's two separate stories merged. So like, I actually was set up on a date, but that was a while ago because I have a dude now. But it's two separate stories merged. Two... <laughs> it sounds like the opening of a movie. Two separate stories. Um. Yeah. So and then she's ripped, Joey. <laughs> and then <laughs> and then the uh, the mass like the so you probably just touched your daughter's book that was happened at work i said that to the ceo of my company just because my brain works that way Whoa. but i was like i keep talking about my job so i'm not gonna keep talking about my job you know Did what i mean the ceo laugh at that yeah because he has a good sense of humor my <laughs> <laughs> Was it in front of other people? And stuff? Oh yeah, it was from the whole company. Cause he was like, he was like, yeah, he's like, masters is a great restaurant, right? And then I was like, oh yeah, they have great tits. And he was like, what? And I was like, I just want to touch him. He was like, um, he's like, I have daughters. And I was like, oh right, you probably just touched theirs. And then the whole office that's, was like, it's kind of creepy though. I mean, like, I mean, like, if any of us would have yeah. said that, we would have all got like yeah. fired immediately. Yeah, no, no, no. I got a yeah. raise actually. Yeah, exactly. I found out today. Yeah, with yeah. his raise. A raise. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Jeremiah with the act out. Wait, for, if, if, if there's any five-year-olds with Down syndrome in the audience, uh, Jeremiah's act out will describe to you what uh, Red Band meant by a raise. But I'm more surprised like... that Red Band doesn't have a boy oink boner sound effect. I, 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 he has an entire app of just those. I do. I actually have a boy oink boy oink boy oink boy. Anyway. Well, that one's not fun that it's loading. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just covering any second. Like, one more time with that dick ass. <laughs> well, that's fun, though. Another what? brand new minute. It was like, whatever. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Repping the Death Squad shirt. Vanessa Johnston, yeah. that's so cool. Another new minute. Thanks, so guys. much fun. Crush it. Yeah. 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 Vanessa Johnston. She's on Twitter and Instagram and Vanessa Johnston. Two O's at the end. Melissa S. Slinger, so Melissa S. Slinger. You guys want to get one more out of the bucket or what? There we go. Crazy shit happens. It happens. Fat bearded guy. All the time. Fat bearded guy. Anything can happen. I think we're due for something crazy, so I'm excited to see. Anything can happen, guys. Wait, did they ever point at the two fucking investment bankers Jesus. in the front row? Yeah, wait, are you guys buying the show after this? Are you guys making an offer? They're gonna go up to the guy and be like, Hi, we work for Interscope Records. We love that tax song. We relate to it on so many other... We're gonna make you a star. Yeah. That is, by the way, New Comics, that is how sad show business is, is that that's the guy that would get the offer. Right. Uh, <laughs> The fucking tax guy with the shitty song? <laughs> Put your hands together for Sam Buck. Holy shit. Yeah. This guy's like a scary name. Yeah. Sam Buck. This guy's like Sam Buck. B-U-C-H. Are you here? Here he comes. <laughs> 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 I wish I was homeless. I really do. They're the freest people in the world. They don't have families or professions or taxes to worry about. They also have the best job in the world. They get to sit on the ground outside and people give them money. The scarier, uglier, and dirtier you are, the more money you get. They can also do anything in the world. Should I sleep on this bench or scare people on that bus? The world is filled with wonders. <laughs> There's only one reason I wish I wasn't homeless, and is that is I can masturbate in the privacy of my home without it being a federal crime. Think about it. If a homeless person masturbates, they get two years in prison for public indecency. How are homeless people supposed to get out without getting off? Thank you. Sam Buck, everybody. Sam, welcome to the show. How's it going? Where are you from? I'm from Boston. That's fun. I How thought you? it was great that you took on a very deserving target in the homeless. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't use the word hero much, but I mean... I'm guessing you, your parents have a lot of money, right? No. No? No. What do, what do you do for work? I'm a student. 
What are you studying? Uh, film and new media studies. Hell yeah. Very good. Yeah, so you're gonna be homeless someday. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I also want to do stand-up, so I'm right on the right path. I love that. Is it Buck or Butch? Buck. B-U-C-K. I just have bad handwriting. B-U-C-K. There you go. Sam Buck, everybody. We're out of time. He's on Twitter at Sam C. Buck. Straight out of Boston. Ryan Chaibet's drawing right there of tonight's episode. He drew that during the episode. Buy the new Kill Tony poster starting tomorrow at RyanJBelt.com. It goes live tomorrow morning. RyanJBelt.com. You can have the first ever Kill Tony merch. Live audience, we did it. Pat Reagan's on Twitter of Patty Reagan. Jeremiah Watkins. Jeremiah stand up. Reagan Watkins. And we got a show this Friday at the Hollywood Improv Lab, 10 p.m. It's called Sticky Sweet Juju Butt. Love it. Love it. Josh Martin's on Twitter at Josh Martin Comic. He makes it all possible. Jamie Vernon is Jamie Vernon. Jamar Neighbor. Yeah. Uh, 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 get his album. Yeah. No. TV. What else, Jamar? America's Mega KKK. And uh, that's it. Mike Lawrence. Um, I wrote on uh, this season of Inside Amy Schumer that'll premiere April 21st on Comedy Central. And I wrote on the Triumph special that's on Hulu now. So Boom, writing for the funniest stuff that's out there right now. Mike Lawrence, we love you. He's on Twitter at the Mike Lawrence. I'm Tony Hinchcliffe, Red Band. I'm Brian Urbansky. My audience, thank you. Have a great night. We did it.